world, I'm Maya Sundermeyer, and I would like to welcome you to the latest episode of my uh, blog series, Hello World. Uh, I uh, like to talk about my experiences with you, of what it's like for me to uh, live with autism. Other times I will give my two cents as to what's going on with autism in the media. And finally, I like to talk about topics that revolve around nerdy or geeky subjects, and that is because I am planning on exposing myself by uh, going and doing a major in physics. But I will talk about that on another occasion. Tonight, though, I would like to continue to talk about uh, my experiences on love and dating. And uh, tonight, I'd like to continue to talk about uh, shipping two people with the same uh, sort of situation. And I'd like to talk about a self-fulfilling prophecy. So what is a self-fulfilling prophecy? A self-fulfilling prophecy is where uh, somebody uh, tells you and tells you and tells you that, Oh, you've got this, and you, you need that. Well, that's basically what had happened to me. I mean, all of my life, other people had been uh, trying to set me up with um, other individuals um, on the autism spectrum, and uh, I wanted to mention uh, a little bit more about that. So, when I was 18 years old, I had worked at an amusement park in um, Minnesota, just right, so right outside of the metro area, and I had wanted a boyfriend so bad because just about everybody else at uh, this particular amusement park um, had a special someone. And of course I was lonely and I whined, I want a boyfriend, I want a boyfriend, I want a boyfriend. So a group of people got together and felt sorry for me and they had decided to uh, try and set me up with another individual on the autism spectrum. Well, uh, at first uh, we both uh, opposed the idea and then after a while again I had started to believe that self-fulfilling prophecy and I had also started developing a crush on this guy and I think he liked me in return when it turned out that he and I were going to be going to the same uh, community college in Minneapolis, Minnesota. Now this was back uh, during uh, the year that I lived with uh, both of my roommates who had happened to be such major bullies and I remember developing such a crush on him, too. Well, not long after uh, I had uh, gotten to know him, I ended up moving down here to Atlanta because uh, my situation in uh, Minneapolis didn't work out, and I just didn't have the basic skills uh, to live on my own. So I ended up moving down here to Atlanta with my aunt, and I remember uh, leaving... Um, the Twin Cities were uh, wanting to ha still have a relationship with this guy, but he would never uh, respond to any of my letters, and he would never call me. And it was uh, around uh, that time, or maybe about close to a year, that uh, my aunt sent me to uh, an adult Asperger support group that was run by another um, very mild autistic man with a mechanical engineering degree and I ended up meeting another guy that kind of reminded me of this individual who I uh, started to like in Minneapolis that um, my co-workers had tried to set me up with. The only difference was that uh, this individual uh, went to uh, Georgia Tech and they got their degree in mechanical engineering and I really thought he was handsome and I thought he uh, was also quite an inspiration. Um, and so I thought maybe he had to be the one because we were both on the autism spectrum. Unfortunately, um, there were a lot of problems. I mean, he had a lot of social deficits and he had a lot of um, unrealistic expectations for people uh, and how uh, they should be uh, in his eyes. They uh, needed to be high geeks. They needed to be really smart. And of course, uh, I thought in my mind, oh, he's autistic. He's going to understand me. He's going to like me. So... Uh, anyway, if you have any questions or comments on the situation, please be sure to uh, state below and please also be sure to subscribe if you are new to my channel. If you want to learn any more about autism, um, please also, to sh uh, also share this on Twitter and share this on Google Plus and on Facebook and on Tumblr and Pinterest and uh, StumbleThePawn.com, whatever. Either way, I enjoyed talking to you about the situation. Again, if you live on the spectrum and you have any questions or comments about uh, love and dating, please be sure to comment below. Until next time, I'm Maya Sundermeyer, and I'm signing off now. Bye.